Hey guys, Sleepy News here, and today we are back with more Persona 5, yes. Last time we fought Okamura and were utterly defeated by Big Bang Burger Coon. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking during that battle while like editing it again. I was like, I should know that whenever they charge or do any kind of sketchy shit like that, I should always guard. I don't know why that just completely slipped my mind at the moment. I feel like I was so like preoccupied with the timer. I was just like, gotta get shit done fast, gotta kill him. Maybe, maybe this time I use fire, it'll actually kill him. Nah, nah. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, there was a lot of uh, stuff from the comments section, actually. I wanted to bring up. You guys left a lot of really good comments. One of the main things, though, uh, when referring to gameplay was uh, that one of you guys said that I really shouldn't have not equipped wind boost to always equip those. I know there's a few other abilities that I've uh, gotten and decided not to equip. And a couple of you guys were memeing on me for that. I see you. I read the comments. Don't worry. I don't mind. I think it's funny, honestly. But uh, yeah, don't worry. From now on, I'm going to just uh, always equip new abilities that come up since uh, this is like the second time I think it's been brought to my attention that I've gotten rid of an ability or not accepted an ability that wanted like that you guys thought was really important so I think it's for the best to just kind of always equip them also one thing I wanted to mention from the last video is at one point I mentioned that I felt almost all of the villains so far had been almost like comically evil and one of you guys said that it's basically that way because it's meant to represent uh, the most evil part of the human psyche so they sort of emphasize those traits especially within the metaverse because it's their shadow and that's the part of their psyche that's really really fucked up so it makes sense that it would be pure evil. I'm happy you guys explained that. I kind of figured there was like a reason for it. I wish I kind of would have elaborated on that because I noticed it pretty early on in the game but hadn't said anything because I thought maybe um, there either was a reason for it or villains in the future would be humanized more and I would kind of understand maybe why they didn't do it as much for like Kaneshiro or um, Kamashida and other uh, villains that we've seen so far. Also I saw some of you guys saying that um, a lot of hints were dropped uh, for the Okamura plotline like pretty early on in the game from like the uh, optional news reports. That's so cool. I'm really excited to uh, kind of look through that again whenever I revisit this game. I love Easter eggs like that. They're so fun. The last thing I want to bring up is actually from not the comment section of the last video, but the one before that. I just totally forgot to bring this up in the last video. But um, some of you guys were wondering uh, with like Zero Escape and Persona 4 if I would be playing those games or streaming them. And I definitely do plan to. With Zero Escape, I already started it somewhat. I got uh, through one ending, but I may just uh, restart the game because when I played that game on stream it was when I was still streaming on my laptop so they're like horrible quality if you go back and you try to rewatch them so I think um whenever I do get around to playing that whether it be a let's play or a stream I'll probably just restart it and maybe like do some different paths so I don't end up like replaying the stuff I already played like immediately or something along those lines and then with Persona 4 I definitely definitely plan on playing that too I really really enjoyed this game I love the gameplay I've enjoyed the story even though I've heard that it's uh, a bit weaker than some of the other Persona games and from what I've read in the comments section, Persona 4 seems to be kind of more up my alley story-wise anyway, since it uh, has to do with like the grayness of like morality and things like that that I had brought up I was interested in uh, in previous episodes and you guys said, yeah, you should play Persona 4, you'll love it. So I'm really excited to play that game actually, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure if it'll be a let's play or a stream for either of those games, but I did want to let you guys know they're definitely like on my short-term list. But yeah, uh, I think that's all I really want to talk about at the beginning of the video. I'll bring up stuff as I go along. I know there's some other stuff like I have in my head right now that I think would just be better to bring up later. So I don't, don't ramble for too long at the beginning of the episode. How's my plant doing? It looks pretty healthy. God dang you plant, you piece of shit. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we've got for you today. Sonic socks, they're made with a special fiber that's a revolution in thin fabrics. They're so light, it feels like your feet aren't wearing socks at all. This is a limited time item. Today is the one and only day it'll be available. And it can be yours for the incredibly low price of 4980 yen. Wow, it's on sale. Wow, it's still on sale. Phones are ringing. Once they're sold out, that's it. Wow, you really got lazy with reading that part, didn't you? You're damn right, Morgana. Sonic socks, huh? They're just 4980 yen. Thinking of buying them? I feel like it's always such a weird number. 4,980 yen. I don't know if these are any good or not, but I think I'm just gonna always buy these. Kind of like always attaching the new abilities. Might as well. It's probably, probably the right thing to do. Oh, another buyer just called in. Thank you so much. We'll try to get your order to you as quickly as possible. Goodbye for now. We'll see you again next time with another fabulous product. Goodbye for now. Now all we have to do is just wait for it to arrive. 
Yeah, cool. Okay, I think Futaba is here. So I'll probably hang out with her today. Yo, I'm gonna hang around here today, so I brought a pretty ancient game to kill time. I mean, you're the only one I know with an old game system. Anyway, it's called Power Intuition. You have the courage to meet me in the test of metal? I may be able to improve my guts if I play Power Intuition with Futaba. Furthermore, this may be a good chance to deepen my bond with her. Hey, hey. Come on, let's ditch the infiltration and kick back with some games today. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Heck yeah, come on, let's go. Sounds good. I like the games, they're always kind of fun. Always so weirdly themed. It looks kind of worn out, but I think it should still work. KK, game start! Here it goes! I'm so pumped! <laughs> she said so funny. I should try my best. Gotta impress my future waifu. Huh? A block into a low punch combo? Was that intentional? Dang, you're good! Come on, it's the final round! Let's do it. This is the moment of truth! <laughs> Gotta get my let's do it out there! It's that intense. Use the directional buttons to match the arrows displayed on the screen within the designated time limit. Then press X to finish. Oh no. I'm not good at mini games. Uh, up, down, meh, meh, up. Oh, dang it, time limit. This is why I hate time limits, guys. All done, you lose. Oh, it's good that you liked it better when I lost anyways. I wonder if she would have even given me points if I would have won. I'll lose on purpose from now on, babe. Don't worry about it. Wanna try again? Haha, <laughs> bring it. I played games with Vitaba until she was fully satisfied. It feels like I gained the courage to face strong foes. Yeah, cool. Lots of points. Dauntless Guts. All right. Levo's Guts have improved. That was fun! Games are the best form of entertainment. Hey, hey. Oof, I thirst. Give me some coffee, Weebo. Too demanding. Should I spend some more time with Futaba? Yeah, I don't think that hangout session's a good use of time. Why? <laughs> Why? I do hate kind of being an ass to them, though, about it. Like, hey, can we get some coffee? <laughs> nah, get the hell out. Guess I'm just gonna make a bee and buzz off. Hi now. Thanks for bringing me home. Late. Ah. Uh. Back. Oh, phone. That creep hasn't tried anything funny, right, Haru? No, I'm okay. Thank you for asking, Anchan. Father did say he rescind the marriage offer as well. I'm a bit worried, though. There's still some time before the deadline. If anything happens, be sure to let us know. Yeah, I'm definitely kind of worried. I'm worried about Haru's reaction to it, because, I mean, it's, like, completely inevitable that he's going to have a mental shutdown and die. I don't know. I'm just kind of worried about Haru. Like, is she going to really want to work with us after that, or... Is she gonna be like, fuck the Phantom Thieves! I'm banging a catchy now! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a plot twist? Thanks, Mako-chan. I will gladly rely on all of you. There is also the matter of the mental shutdowns. I hope no danger comes to Haru. I guess Haru's dad did say that he was just making requests. Yes, the true culprit is still out there, triggering, triggering mental shutdowns in exchange for money. We gotta catch whoever it is. Any idea who that culprit might be, Weibo? The black mask person, a money monger. I have no clue, black mask guy. Yes, they're definitely the most likely perpetrator. Either way, I'm sure we'll learn more once Haru's father speaks up about it. Uh, we just gotta wait for his change of heart. Futaba's is right, we don't have any intel now, so there's nothing we can do. Let's wait for Okamura's change of heart, then pursue the truth behind the mental shutdowns. Sounds good, sounds good. Shit's about to hit the fan though, isn't it? Don't you already have an order coming? Aw, oh, man. I want a questionnaire. I don't get those very often. Come on. Come on, newsman. Give it to me. Okay. Uh, who can I hang out with? Okay, why and Yoshida? I'll drink my disgusting tea first, I think. Beauty is jury. Blown with collagen, making you radiant with charm. Ah, nice. It's the charm one. I can hang out with that Yoshida knight, too, so perfect. I'll get that charm boost and then get that... That good charm. I'll hang out with a, a Y later. I'm really close to maxing out Yoshida, I think. Got like two more rounds, I think. Your charm is more likely to increase today. You really need to get pumped up and tell yourself it's for your health. Oh god, is that a cockroach I see in there? Disgusting. Nice chugging, that's how you do it. Blah. Good job, I was watching you try so hard. Yay, two points. Charismatic still. Right. Evo's charm is improved. Okay, now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. Okay, yeah. Definitely think I want to hang out with Yoshida. Man, I really can't hang out with anybody else. 
feel like it's been kind of picky recently with uh, who it's been letting me hang out with. And at least hang out with Mishima? Not even Mishima? Come on now. You telling me he actually has other friends to hang out with? Impossible. I can't. I can't trust this. It goes far, far too different from the canon I already know. You dick! What are you guys talking about, college kids? Oh man, Okamura must be in the swing of full-blown panic by now. Way to go, pea thieves! I hear he just threw- I hear he's just throwing money at the problem, as if the company's image could get any worse. I guess they deserve this. I think we should tear down businesses that, that abuse their employees. We should kill them. Light them up in the middle of town. Whoa, dude, I, I think you're getting a little too intense. Kill them, Phantom Thieves. Skin them alive. Oh, hey, Rocker Dude's got a girlfriend. Okamura Foods is messing up big time. They should rebrand themselves to Rakamura. Oh man, that would have changed everything. I totally wouldn't have stole his heart if you he would have had that name. You know what has a big bing? My anger. I'm gonna sing a new song called Death by Black Burger. <laughs> Songs are so dumb. Hey, you're that guy from those videos. You're the rock parody singer, right? Sing me a funny song. Oh, that'd make more sense. <laughs> parody? What are you talking about? I perform authentic rock and roll. <laughs> I was gonna say, his songs really do sound like parodies. Death by Black Burger. The burger's charred, and so is my heart for Okamura Foods. God, it's so deep. He's so ahead of his time. Okay, Yoshida, let's hang out. Everyone. Poverty, the working poor, our country's job market is in a terrible state. Depression and suicide are on the rise, and the young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world is filtered down into society. Read this so many times. Hello, News Karen. Stamina is important for public speaking as well. You're still young, but take care of yourself. It's almost time. I appreciate if you could be around afterwards today. I'm sure I don't have to remind you about what this concerns. How's your availability? I feel I can become closer with Yoshida thanks to the Sun Persona Mithras. I feel like my bond with Yoshida will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help out Yoshida? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. A speech about the Phantom Thieves. There are some things I want you to hear, so please come and listen to it. <laughs> Since I pretty much have figured out you're a Phantom Thief by this point. Don't worry, everybody knows. The stage is set. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it, but... I know, you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry, I won't pull any tricks. Sorry, I kind of forgot what voice I gave him last time. I'll just stick with this. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. Oh, that's nice. I saw Karamoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. The speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think any of the parties would back no good Tora. He's gonna talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. God, they're hot. Okay, I'm going to get started. Do your best. Break a leg. I'm getting so nervous. You're gonna blow this. Do your best. Yes. I will. Especially with you looking on, senpai. Everyone. Wait, what? The reason they're causing such a stir is because they're addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Tornosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong. There is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I. I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Tora, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. Yeah. The why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. Yeah, you're gonna get a ton of support now, Yoshida, since everybody loves us so much. I, I am just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However, But I've made my peace with that. Aw, oh, I like Yoshida. He's such a cool dude. I'll be happy as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of your youth. Hell yeah! Standing ovation! Come on! Thank you for listening. Ah, I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto. Yes. That's right. Sheesh, 
Such a, such a heartfelt speech from someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Matsushita. I think they're probably moved. Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. You're a good dude, Yoshida. Mm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. What are you talking about? You had a change of heart? Um, <laughs> totally not a Phantom Thief. Don't worry about it. You had a change of heart. That must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves. Power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon, just my voice and my words. That's how I win people Thank over. You. Thank you for sticking by my side, Nuskoon. Ah, yeah. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Here we go. Rink up, still nothing. I think his next right. ability is actually really good though. Haven't looked at it in a while. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Oh, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Now, oh, Yoshida. Well, I'll see you again. Good job. Ah, oh, no charm? Dang. Here comes the apology, Raffle. Stop fucking around. An apology isn't enough. He needs to bleed. Let's hear from the workers. Calling card, yes. Oh no, catchy? Oh, <laughs> I'm so used to it being a catchy here. Good morning. The palace is gone, so I guess we're waiting for a while. What do you guys do at times like these? Take a break, study. Study, just like you, nerd. Oh, are you saying that it's important to play the part of a diligent student too? <laughs> I'm impressed. I wish Ryuji would take a cue from you. After school, cool. Text messages, a lot of them. It's hard to stay calm. Oh, can I hang out with you now? Oh yeah, some of you guys said that um I could rank up with Yusuke already. Really? I didn't think I was able to. I thought that I went to go talk to him and it said like, I can hang out with Yusuke, but, or like one of those things where like, it seems like you're gonna get blocked, but maybe, maybe I remembered wrong. I can uh, test it out later. But um, yeah, this time if I can hang out with Hari, or I'd like to do that since I need, need a bond with her. It's hard to stay calm. It's hard to stay calm when all we can do is wait. Oh, I just remembered. We still haven't finished that request from the forum, right? Ah, oh, dang you, Haru. I thought I would be able to hang out with you. Completing requests is still a way of reforming society. Shall we take care of it? Ah, oh, yeah, we still haven't finished Mishima's request. Oh, I should totally do that. Ah, decide later. Um, I want to do those, uh, what is it? Like the work requests first. So I can go in with at least like three requests, you know? I feel like my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon, but... Okay, yeah, see, it still says but, so that's why I was thinking I uh, wasn't at a high enough proficiency, but I guess I'll try it out since you guys said I was good to rank up with him. So what's your call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? Okay, let's try it. I should be able to open the door with my current proficiency. Oh, seriously? What the heck? Okay, even though I have enough proficiency to uh, hang out with Yusuke now, I need to get a persona for him. Realized I didn't have one. So I had to save scum. Oh yeah, I should do um the fancy Let's persona execute. fusion, shouldn't I? Could probably do this like this every one. day. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and get rid of Kaiwan since I have a two star personas and there's no way in hell I'm gonna kill Neko Shogun, so sorry buddy. Even though we don't have any idea what this persona is gonna turn into, you're still sure of this, right? Hell yes. I, I love Just these so far, you. they're so good. Come on, Emperor, Emperor, Emperor. Oh. I am Komokuten. Leave keeping watch over monsters to me. In exchange, I grant you a mask that monitors the world. Okay, cool. You're probably like Strength Arcana, right? Oh, Hermit. Interesting. Chuckle. Are the results to your satisfaction? Oh, level 49. Holy ball sack. <laughs> nice. I can get rid of that other Hermit Arcana one. I didn't really like that one all that much. Okay, let's see. I need Emperor. Oh, there's one. Uh, oh, I can actually make I this see. one. Neato. Belfegor and Mithras. 
Eh, I could probably buy you back. Yeah, this looks good to me. The Choose the skills you wish like inherit. inherit. Okay. Uh, I love Palimpa. Yes. Bufula. Probably. I'll keep this no one on me too. I like this one. Power. Your respective confidant relationship is a rank 5. You may see great power. Are you certain this persona is acceptable? Well, when you my, put it like that, my. Igor, of course it's acceptable. I am Okuni Nushi. My sword, my bow, these tools, which form this fine land, shall now grant you power as a mask. You seem tall. Pretty, though. I like you. Behold, the Emperor Confidant has awakened your persona's hidden power. All right. Psychic boost. Learn a new skill. There we go. Psychic break. Evade nuke. Triple evasion against nuclear skills does not stack. Um, well, I said I'd always, <laughs> I'd always add anything, so... Um, I'll take off this one. I mean, I can just keep Yusuke in my party, so I think it's okay if I take it off. I feel I can become closer with Yusuke thanks to the Emperor Persona, Okini Nushi. I feel my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon, but... I don't really understand what the butt is for. So what's your call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? Let's do it. I should be able to open the door with my current proficiency. You are a tremendous help. Let us return to Madarame's house. I'm happy I can hang out with him, though. I like uh, Yusuke's confidant. Hmm. It's probably one of my favorites so far. I believe something here may help me paint the way I used to. However, the door appears to be jammed. What shall we do, Weibo? I think I'll be able to fix the door with my current proficiency. Yeah, Yusuke, oh. you're not nearly as picky as Makoto. Weibo, you are capable of fixing it. You never cease to amaze me. Let us be off. Let us head inside. I see. The police confiscated everything. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I lived here not long ago, yet it feels almost like the distant past at this point. Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Ah, uh, and over here was a bookshelf filled to the brim with various tomes. Contained art compilation books for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. At times, I would take a break from my art to hide and read them. This is also where we would gather to eat when the atier still had a large pupil count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty food, so. <sighs> Sensei, what am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? Are you okay? You're not looking so good. You okay, buddy? My apologies. I'm merely a little confused at the moment. The truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move on their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grim beneath. After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, dark darkness took hold of me. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I had so deeply despised in Madarame. <sighs> you know, a boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you that one night at LeBlanc. He said he didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Weibo, why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? I'm not really sure. Maybe because he was sympathetic. <laughs> Doubt it. He somehow knew you had skill. I couldn't possibly tell you. I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, I guess he might have known he had skill because of uh, his mother's art. Right? Yes. Yes, I agree. Good. Hey, only two points. You scamming me, bro. Though, can that really be true? Huh. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities presented to me. The humble house and that loathsome palace, the kind teacher and the fiendish deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What then of my search for pure, be pure beauty? Hello? Huh, who's that? Is someone there? Coming in. This is a problem. Um, could that be the police? It would be kind of screwed if it was, right? Old gentleman. I was wondering who could have been in here. You're the man from the exhibition. The one who is totally ragging on you, Yusuke. 
Indeed, thank you for our conversation back there. More importantly, though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way from work. Are you perhaps still caught in your slump? Yes. How do you know about that? Was totally eavesdropping on your conversation. I know a great deal about you, Yusuke-kun. You've made a name for yourself by patterning your work after the beautifully detailed Sayori. But that painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles? Uh... If you like, I can advise you. Ah, oh, cool, new mentor. A not psycho one, hopefully. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. Hi. Most of your painting was done while living in this residence, correct? Your current lack of patron must be what is holding you back. Please, take my card. I made a living investing in promising young artists like yourself, Yusuke-kun. Oh, that's good. Director of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akiko Kuwana Kuwanabe. But why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibit. You are majorly shit-talking me, bro. Don't call me bro, because I feel you have talent. Now my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle interests you, we can talk further at a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to, but I hope to hear from you soon. Ah, cool. Yes. The Japanese Art Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. And it was all because you opened that door for me. Hmm, it seems good luck is simply a characteristic of yours. I'm in your debt. You have my thanks, leader. Yeah, thanks, Yusuke. I feel like my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Yeah, sweet. Drink up! Harrison recovery, chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party, party members. Right. Your Emperor Confidant has increased to rank 6. You will now earn more experience from Arcana Burst when using Personas of the Emperor Arcana. Yusuke can now use Harrison recovery. Sweet. Shall we return I home? must be going now. I'd like to think on this some more. Yeah, it sounds, sounds right up his alley, honestly. Farewell. Ah, you're back. Oh, phone's ringing. There haven't been any middle shutdown cases lately, right? <laughs> Saving it all up for the big one, right? Right, SIU director? Not since Okamura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us. Damn, I'm glad we're famous. But it's highly probable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in trouble if we let the public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting, we should keep that in mind. Another box came for you. Oh neat, my socks. What did you get? Sonic socks. Must be a uh, speed, right? Must be what you ordered off the TV. Sonic socks, agility plus five, wow. Socks that let you run as fast as a hedgehog. <laughs> nice, it was a reference. Okay, what can I do today? Oh yeah, dang it. Where, why can't I hang out with Chihaya recently? So strange. Hifumi. Um, I don't really know who I should hang out with. Uh, 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 uh. Why can't I hang out with Chihaya though? Dang it, that's who I want to hang out with. Hope I didn't like miss my, my good opportunities too or something. Uh, let's click on the TV. Okamura Foods continues to receive harsh criticisms from the public for its employee treatment. Employees have been frantically dealing with complaints, the exhaustion visible on their faces. President Okamura has not yet made a public appearance, as demand for him to make restitution grows. So he's trying to hide, huh? Let's hurry and put an end to this. Thought we already did that, Morgana. And what the crap, Mishima? Are you gonna ditch me? Because I said all that mean stuff about you? I didn't mean it. Except I did. I guess I'll hang out with Oya. I just really want to hang out with Jahaya. Kind of stinks that it keeps uh, booting me out with her. Oh, it's raining. Okay, that makes sense then. No, that means I can't get the bonus from her either. Balls. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be better to hang out with Oya when I can get the charm bonus. So I'll hang out with uh, Hifumi tonight instead. Sorry, Oya. Okay, Hifumi, let's talk. <laughs> my thinking gets sharper on rainy days. The sound of raindrops increases my focus. If it's alright with you, let's play a match. I feel I can become closer with Ifumi thanks to the star persona Neko Shogun. I don't think my bond with Ifumi will deepen quite yet. 
What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with her? Let's do it. I look forward now to it. Now time for the lesson. I love her voice. I know I say it every time, but it's so calming. So pretty. Hifumi seems to be having fun. I can sense her dedication to Shogi. <laughs> she kicked my ass. Oh, that's right. I have something Hifumi might like. I should give it to her as a gift. Okay, let's see. I think she'll like the Sakura fan the most out of the ones that I have. Sakura fan. Let's do it. Ah, this fan has a Sakura pattern. The blooming Sakura. I feel powerful when it's in my hand, like it's a magic charm. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know how to thank you. I'll take good care of this. Oh, wow, she loved that. Yeah, three points. Sweet. Seemed like something she'd like. It feels like I really captured Hifumi's heart. Yay. I feel like my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. Neato. Sweet. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. We've kind of stayed the same, haven't we? 88% still. Wow! What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious, like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. A show support, huh? I could post a photo online of all the Phantom fan merch I've amassed. I have like 12 body pillows. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. And by how creepy they are. You know, I make out with all 12 of them, like, every night. I, I didn't need to know that. Okay, cool. Back in school. Forum request. <laughs> you need to fucking do that already. God, they're so, so adamant about that forum request. Is that important? Should I do that soon? Who can I hang out with? Makoto Ryuji. On. Who I can never freaking get points with from answering. I'll hang out with Takemi. That's kind of what my gut's saying to do. I already have a death persona on me, so I'll just max hers out as soon as I can, and then and then after that, I'll uh, focus on on once I don't really have the option for Takemi anymore. I feel like that makes the most sense. Your guts are more likely to increase today. I feel I can become closer with Takemi thanks to the death persona Hellbiker. I feel like my bond with Takemi will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Takemi? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to meet someone at Inokashira Park. Let's go. It's a cl it's close, right? Let's go. Okay, sweet. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine, they're all here inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the findings summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with your equipment and we'll be ready to treat Miwa-chan with it. Yeah, sweet. I'm happy she was alive. Excellent, and the rest is up to you. So, this is the kid from your study, huh? I'm really surprised he's not dead yet. I mean, these documents totally explain all the weird shit you've been doing to him. I'm blind now. Yes, he's my little guinea pig. He certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please, put some thought into the offer we discussed, will ya? Alright, I'll call you later. He's a doctor treating me with Chan. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Don't worry about it. It was for my exams. It was so rough. Um, don't worry about it. I see. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Then I guess I won't. <laughs> From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success and the complete development on schedule. The final results will be out of my hands though, if I don't accept their offer that is. Huh. Mm. I was recruited. Oh, nice. He offered me the position of head of research and development at his hospital. Oh, awesome. I wonder if she'll want to stay at the, the clinic though, you know, to... Be true to, I don't know, the poor people around there, some crap like that. Which means I'll have to close my practice. <laughs> Hell no, bitch, I want that money. No, I don't blame her. I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takemi Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. That's troubling. And your patients? Yeah, what are they gonna do? I urge my patients to transfer to that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. That's good, at least. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're in love with me now. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. 
I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Okay, so she is staying. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa-chan and receive my reward, her smile. Oh, I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. It feels like my bond with Takemi is growing even deeper. Cool, rank up. Rank 9, still nothing. All right. Rank 9, more experience from Arcana Burst. Anyway, you were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay, you can tell me. Hey. Why did you keep coming to me? I wish I could... I should choose my words carefully. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I feel bad. I feel bad friend zoning people, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt Futaba, my waifu. My one true waifu. Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? I wanted to see you. It was for my exams. Ah, oh, man, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, man, feels bad, man. Feels bad. I see. Eh. It's not because you're in love with me? Damn it. Is that so? Well, I can take a hint. You are about to get so much good lovin'. You just turned it all away, Weibo. All away. Damn it. It's getting late. You should get going. Come visit any time. <laughs> oh, man, I felt kind of bad. I'll see you later. I feel like Kawakami took it really well. She seemed a bit more peeved. I'll see you later. Ah, you're back. Okay, text messages. Oh, awesome, Chahaya. Having news? I have something to say. Sweet, I can finally hang out with you. Now for news about the alleged offenses of Okamura Foods against their workers. Former Okamura Foods employees who feel they are victims have formed an association and held a meeting. The association calls themselves Fuck Okamura, let's kill him. They exchanged ideas among one another and vowed not to give up until justice is done. Oh, they're all working together. It's tough to do something all by yourself. Yes, Chahaya. Oh, I can still rank up with you too. I thought for sure I'd have to go through uh, a bad one. I'll hang out with her then. I'll just prioritize her the most, I think, for right now. And did you hear? The fan of Thieves have a new target. I hope they fail. An enemy of Akechikun's is an enemy of mine. Fuck you guys. Oh goodness, if Akechikun found out about you, you'd be his enemy too. I know you use his voice as your alarm clock. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. I feel I can become closer with Jahaya thanks to the fortune persona Atropis. I feel like my bond with Jahaya will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Are you going to hang out with Jahaya? Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see for today. <laughs> I have a lot to show you today. Here we go. Look, mental training for sports. Oh, and building a successful business from the ground up. Uh, books? I even have a book about the secrets of being a good listener. It was written by a hostess from a club in Ginza. Just picking out which books to bring took me half a day. I have tons more back home, though. I've started using these as reference materials for the advice I give to my clients. This way I can suggest new alternatives instead of leaving them resigned to their fates. You're such a hard worker. What about the divine power? You must have a lot of free time. You have, like, no life, fam. Uh, you're such a hard worker? <laughs> hey, yes, please, kiss my ass if you want those points. Will do. Of course. After all, I need to be able to advise my clients on their future selves. Anyways, what I really want to tell you is that I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong convictions can in fact change fate. Oh, and as for the people I sold holy stones to? Oh, are you gonna give them refunds? I've started reading their fortunes free of charge. Oh, that's nice of you. I'd like to return the money they gave me too, but um... Oh, kinda poor. But what? Did you spend it all? Ah, uh, but what? Well, uh, uh, shopping spree! <laughs> That'd be terrible if that was the case. Unassertive man. Am I interrupting? What? Yakota son? Fiance or something, maybe? It's been a while, maiden. Um, what are you doing here? The chairman asked that I come see how things are going. Hum, and who are you? Um, that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced him to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you needed to hire an apprentice? Oh, um... Yes, he's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected such great foresight from you, maiden. Huh, that's kind of weird. 
I don't know if it's like the company like relies so heavily on her fortune telling that they uh, come to see her this often, or if she actually is kind of intertwined with them like business wise, like she gives them some uh, partial profits or something. Now then, I should be going. <laughs> that was weird. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, she seems nervous. <sighs> Something's definitely up with him. I'm sorry you had to see that. Who was he? Maiden. Are you in trouble? Um, I don't know. I don't think any of these give me points. Are you in trouble? No, it's nothing serious. Anyways, it's a private matter, new son. Nothing you should concern yourself with. Wait, are you perhaps worried about me? Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improves when you're around, new son. <laughs> I know, in return for that, I'll predict your luck whenever you want. Ah, oh, thank you. I can sense Jahaya's intense motivation. Nido, rank up. Rank five, fate reading. Provides a preview of some abilities for a confidant of your choice. All That's right. pretty cool. Wheel of Fortune confidant. <laughs> I didn't even noticed that. Wheel of Fortune. I never paid attention to the name before. It's rank five. Experience from Arcana Burst, fate reading. Yeah, I'm definitely curious to know what was up with that guy though. Seemed a little fishy. Fate reading. By getting your fate read, you can find out a confidant's future abilities. They will then be viewable from the confidant menu. Okay, sweet. Oh. My, it's already so late. I should close up for today. I really want to know Goodbye. her future abilities. Since you guys seem to think she's uh, really important for uh, saving time. Good night, new son. Hey! Ah, oh, man, I totally forgot. I didn't go to the machines on the 27th. Damn it. I guess I can go on the 7th. Oh no, I'm not gonna get Big Bang Burger Coon though. I guess I could reload my save file. Is it really that important? Yes, yes, Morgana. Oh, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Okay, I have so many books. I'll do kindness for now. Hmm? She always found it in her heart to show mercy to others. Mm. A legendary female Pope, huh? Do you think she really existed? Yeah, I read about it. When I read Makoto's thing, hey, hey. her persona's thing, I mean. Huh? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Not far enough. Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. You're damn straight it was, Morgana. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Uh huh, yeah, it really is a totem pole. Huh, weird. It's so colorful, I just love watching people try to eat it. I'm amazed whenever someone can eat it really neatly. Mm. Eating a totem pole, neatly. What the fuck? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. I'm kind of interested now. For the way it looks, it's just a coincidence. The smell, the way it looks. Mm. I can't imagine what kind of food looks like a totem pole. And eating it impresses people, the mystery deepens. The totem pole at the diner, huh? Okay, I'm interested. I guess I can try that some other time. I wonder what it uh, raises. Don't think we have a proficiency oh, yet, so probably that. Have you ever thought your phone went off but nothing actually happened? It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. News, let's hear it. What is the phenomenon commonly called in English? I don't know. Okay, let's try to puzzle out this acronym. So PVS referring to when you mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Phantom phone prediction. I don't know. It's gotta be phantom, right? No, what, really? No, that doesn't seem right. Let's rethink this. PVS, what do you think? Really, it's not phone? Prediction? What the fuck? <laughs> it's Phantom? Seriously? I was just memeing. Right. It's gotta start with Phantom, since you're only imagining it. So next, the V part. That means it'd be Phantom what? Vogue, variance, vibration? Vibration? That's it. Oh, wow, you actually got that one right. Way to go, weirdo. When your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. Last is the S. So if we have Phantom Vibration so far. Situation, sound, syndrome. Probably a syndrome, right? Good. Good. Nice. The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. 
If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society, where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. He might not be too bad. Nice, go. You're on a roll today. Yeah, cool. Point up. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my significant other to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Hmm. Think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds? I'll pass on that, thanks. I don't want people knowing all the weird things I think about on. I don't think anybody wants to know that, Morgana. Cool, cool, sweet. Okay, who can I hang out with today? Ryuji, on. Butaba. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like I always put on on the back burner. I feel kind of bad about it. And Takemi is too mad at me for rejecting her previously, so doesn't want to hang out with me anymore, I guess. I'll probably hang out with Butaba. Butaba's abilities are so good. And I kind of just always like to focus on whoever can rank up next, just because, I don't know, it seems like it's probably the right thing to do. And yeah, that ability is awesome. I want to get it, just in case I go to Mementos kind of soon. We've done all we can, now we wait. You got some time? Let's keep going on that promise list. I feel I can become closer with Futaba thanks to the Hermit Persona, Como Tukin. I feel like my bond with Futaba will grow stronger soon. What's the plan? Are you going to hang out with Futaba? Hell yes! Okay, then let's hold a strategy meeting in LeBlanc. Don't worry, there aren't any customers around right now. Hmm. The next promise on the list is go to school, right? Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. It's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there, too. All right, let's well, ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go! Checking out of school? You're going to school? Oh, um, never mind. Just go have some fun. Ah. I know he's so proud of her. I am too. Come a long way. <laughs> ah, Shujin Academy too. At least it looks like it. Here we are. School. I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. I guess it would make sense that she would uh, transfer here. Huh? What are you doing here? Um, well... I see. I see, a promise list. Like what you used to make with your mother. Uh, well, do you want to come in? <sighs> um, can I use the Goho M instead? <laughs> no, it doesn't work here. Nope, let's do this together. If you want, let's do this together. I was hoping you'd say that. Aw, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Most of the students have already left and all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible. I've got you two with me. This place is going to be as easy as fighting a trash mob. <laughs> That's easy? I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing though, right? Anyways, come on. I'll show you around the school. <laughs> Cute. Um... This is the cafeteria where some students choose to eat lunch. Uh... Lunch? That reminds me that this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. <laughs> I'm so traumatized. Oh, and this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. <laughs> God, that is traumatizing. I can't imagine. I didn't notice because they were both red. It was really gross. <laughs> Cute. Um, anyways, the cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Let's move on. Um... This is the school library. We have the regular academic fair here. Textbooks, encyclopedia, encyclopedias, study guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some especially vocal students. The freaking weeaboos of this school, you know? So many books! Do you like to read, Futaba? Uh, um, back in elementary school I memorized the titles of all the books on a shelf in just one glance. <laughs> Did you actually read the books, though? The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then I recited all the titles to prove it. They just laughed and called me a freak. Aw. Am I weird, Weibo? You're talented. No, you're talented. I bet they were just surprised. Um, I feel like both of these are pretty good. No, you're talented. I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Aw, oh, dang it. I should have just lied. Ugh, school is the worst. 
Ah. Uh, well, shall we move along? Only the classrooms remain, though on second thought, maybe we should pass on those today. <sighs> um, shall we head back to the entrance? Ah, dang it, I screw up. <sighs> I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be, it's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? Not at all, everyone does it. I think it's cute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing to say. Man, Futaba, I think your emotional trauma is adorable. I mean, I think everybody does it from time to time. For real? Yeah. So you do it too, Weibo? That means we're the same. But honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You would, you would never have gotten so worried about this before. Huh? Yeah, she's come a long way. What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step towards changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great. Right, Weebo kun Yeah. Ooh, you're the best. A new discovery. Wait, so you're really happy with me, even though I got totally depressed? Hmm, is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? Maybe I could make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves, uh, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Futaba seems enthusiastic. Yay. Break four. Position hack. Chance to instantly hold up enemies when starting a battle. Oh, that's so cool. I love you, Futaba. I'm sure you would make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. That's going to save so much SP, too. That's really sweet. Friends? Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh... Too nervous, I guess? Too scared? Or something along those lines. Alright, I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done. I doubt she had very okay, many friends before home. us. If any at all, because her trauma was so, so young. Anyways, let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? Yeah, okay. I imagine she probably hasn't ever had friends before. Poor Futaba. Time to make like a rabbit and hop on out of here. I feel like that's the case with a lot of uh, people though in this game. Never had a friend before, or like a real friend. Ah, you're back. Text message. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fever may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. <laughs> we are totally jinxing this, guys. We're gonna crash and burn so hard. I agree with you, Yusuke. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. That's you. Don't scare us like that. Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. I've been so secretive about it. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful, careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? It don't make sense. I wouldn't even be shocked at this point if Ryuji just reveals our identities on accident, and that's how the public finds out about us. I... I could see it. On Discovery Town Detectives, we visit a very spiritual spot in Tokyo, Meiji Shrine. People come to enjoy the beauty of nature, and a few come to pray for help in finding love. It's also the most popular shrine on New Year's, and a great place to hang out near Takenoko Street. Kawakami! can call her to do stuff. I was kind of wondering about that. I guess she won't uh, be in uniform anymore. Mishima! Hifumi! Okay, cool. Probably hang out with Mishima. It's been a while. The Phantom Thieves sent another crawling car. No, not again. They're rotten from the start. <laughs> yeah, they should have been executed. Executive them! <laughs> They're worse than bad apples. They're bad pickleish. You agree with me, right? Execu <laughs> executive them! <laughs> kind of reminds me of the, uh, what was it? Like the executive administrator or executive director that Okamura sent on us? What do you know, drunken Seuss? Yeah, killing is bad. Who? <laughs> Who is that? Let me tell you, I'm a good pickle. <laughs> You're a good pickle, but the bad pickles are everywhere. And they're not burp, they're not just hiding in sandwiches now. They're working out it in open. <laughs> I feel like he's like the Illuminati believers, you know? Like, uh, the whole government's full of reptiles. Except he thinks they're pickles. 
You see? It's a conspiracy. Oh my god, literally. <laughs> the pickle Illuminati, man, don't you know? The bad pickleish, they make it so Kimura get targeted. Oh wait. <laughs> You talking about the SIU director? You're so wise. Killing's bad, bro. What? No, no. We have to kill him. We have to kill him. Those bad pickleish. Only the good pickles are the pickles mom makes. <laughs> the fam thieves are made by mom, you know? You see? It's a conspiracy. A bad pickles. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, right? Let me buy you some drinks. Just who do they think they are? Those bad pickles have no place in any sandwich I'm gonna eat. You see? It's like a conspiracy! You're actually kind of onto something about uh, targeting Okamura, though. Good on you, buddy. Except it's the SIU director. The baddest pickle of all. Hi. Uh, why are you still in a maid outfit? I quit that job, but I can't turn you down if you ask me for something. What'd you need? What'd you need help today? Laundry, got it. Leave it to me. Aw, oh, you're even nicer now. Oh, this outfit. I did quit the maid job, but people can't find out a teacher is singer or student for personal reasons. I can't get found out, you know. I hope you don't mind me dressing up like this when I come help you. Okay. I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow stronger soon. So what will you do? Are you going to meet up with Mishima? Let's hang out with him. On, let's get let's going. go somewhere close then. Sorry. Sorry, one sec. You know, I'm really, really popular with all the ladies now. That was from Akiyama-kun. He said he wants me to stop by. Apparently he's pretty close. It sounded um. serious, so... Oh. I don't think we should ignore him. Can you come with me? I don't want him to kick my ass, you know? Oh, whoa. Huh? Akiyama-kun! Ah, so he gets beat up too. Mishima! Ah, uh, there's our guy. Look, Akiyama-kun says he's not gonna be able to pay up this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> yeah, right, like Mishima's his friend. Doesn't he have, like, some goonies that follow him around all the time? Ask them. Friends? <laughs> the fuck? Huh, you guys ain't friends? Don't try and mess with us, Akiyama. Is this loser supposed to be the friend who is gonna help you? Uh, if you don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama, I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're just gonna have to go and have a nice chat with that girlfriend of his. Ah, oh, man. Please, no, I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. Now she's gonna be the one to pay us back. If you catch my drift. Oh, God, we gotta beat up these guys. This is just what you get for trying to screw us over. Ha 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 ha, you're so cruel, Yuta-kun. Akiyama-kun. Let's kick their ass, Mishima. News, run. I'm not leaving. You should run too. What are you gonna do? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't just abandon Akiyama-kun, though. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it might just work. If anything happens to me, take care of Akiyama-kun, News. Thought he'd want us to go in the metaverse and change their heart or something. Hey, you guys! Huh? <laughs> Acting drunk? Crap, I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're so cute, Mishima. I thought it was badass. Kind of. Oh, you're, st oh, you're still here? Run away, you idiot. Um, you'd better lay off Akiyama-kun. I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. <laughs> just gonna rat him out. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama-kun or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. Oh, and don't get any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. Gotcha, nerds. Hey, uh, what should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of, of a stupid little video. Why don't you run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. <laughs> my waifu is perfect. Shut the hell up. Uh, you're just gonna take that? Believe in yourself. They're the real losers. News, you're right! Only one point, you cheapo. Huh? What the hell? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted, given your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? It doesn't matter how, just leave Akiyama Kun alone and we'll be even. Then if you keep your word, I'll delete the video, the backup too. You'll delete them now? 
No! Uh, uh, Uticoon. <laughs> this nerd's crazy. Tuh, I've had enough of this shit. Yeah, you leave. <sighs> Man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. That was pretty badass though, Mishima. Even though you're basically just saying to snitch on them. Still, you stood up to those guys. My whole act would have been broken down if they didn't back off when they did. <laughs> I really suck, huh? Totally. <laughs> totally. You were super cool. Wait, that was all an act? You were super cool, bro. You think? Even if I peed in my pants a little. <laughs> oh god, Mishima. You're so fucking cute. As long as you didn't poop a little bit too, I'd say you're good. The truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> Oh, and thanks for sticking by me, News. You can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site to make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. Mishima seems extra motivated. Hey, come on, that guy needs to thank him. Kiss Mishima's ass like I always do for points. Frank age, right. more experience, all that good stuff. <sighs> Akiyama-kun, are you okay? It looks like they really laid it on you. You know, like what you used to do to me. Oh yeah, good times, man. Mishima, why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. Sorry. Ah, oh, don't say sorry. It looked like you were really in trouble, though, so I stepped up. Ugh. Is that so? Realizing you're a douche. Anyways, can you walk? Do you need us to call an ambulance? I'm fine, just go. All right, come on, news. Well, see you later. See you later. Guess he's uh, realizing how much of an ass he is. Kawakami, Hi. thank you for waiting. Here you go. Ancient shirt, Okamoto vest, Rosetta corset, vest of the dead. Nito. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks, Kawakami. You're the bomb. When is President Okamura gonna get down and beg for forgiveness? The sooner they get it done, the better it is for society. We're counting on you, Phantom Thieves! Don't let us down! Those politicians and Okamura both deserve divine punishment. Ah, uh, this place is sold out of Phantom Thieves merch, too. All right. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. I'd spell, it'd spell the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like Phantom Thieves. God, I hate my grandchild. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. <laughs> Not really. I feel like nobody really knows what they want to do in high school. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Hey, news. What do you want to do? Stripper! Not all civil servants work in government offices. Which of these occupations is a civil one? Divers of San Riku, shamans of Mount Osur, 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 fishermen of Naga, Nagaragawa. God, you suck at saying Japanese names. I know. Okay, uh, fishermen? Yeah, cool. I just kind of guessed. Very good. Uh huh, I'm impressed you knew that. Only the Comorant fishermen of Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household's agency's board of ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to since it's, since it's a hereditary occupation. Why am I even teaching you this? If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. Though some may say that's hereditary too. Yeah, a lot of industries are like that. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shit, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice You're so call. smart. Yeah, it's crazy how many jobs will, uh, or like, I don't know. It's crazy how um, jobs will be so willing to accept you just based off All of right. like your mom or somebody working for a similar company before. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Yeah, take them down. Change one of their hearts. Probably, eventually, maybe. 
you know, after Okamura inevitably dies. Okay, who should I hang out with? Or what should I do? Yuki, reporting in! This one's important! Apparently this post was made by someone with ties to the banks and the finance sector. The target this time is a guy who never pays back his loans. It sounds like he might be involved in organized crime too. He could be dangerous. How dangerous? Sounds interesting. Organized crime? The Yakuza? Yeah, apparently even the police are having trouble catching him. He keeps changing his name and appearance to elude them. I guess he's basically the man of a hundred faces. Not bad, huh? God, he's so cool! According to one particular post, he's currently going by the name Fumio Akatsu. I went ahead and made a warning post about it. Is that okay? Either way, I'm sure it'll be easy for the Omelanders. Oh. Wow, this is some good info, even for Mishima. Let's discuss whether or not we go after this guy over at the hideout. Yeah, request received. Man, the many faces and debts. Okay, let's see. Who can I hang out with? Makoto, kind of. <laughs> Futaba again, cool. Can really hang out with Futaba a lot, can I? What's her next ability now that I think about it? Active support. Moral support may now charge or recover SP. Oh, nice. That's crazy. Cool. Okay, I'll hang out with you then, Futaba. We've done all we can. Now we wait. If you're free, it's promise list time. What should we do next? I feel I can become closer with Futaba thanks to the hermit persona, Komo Kuten. I feel like my bond with Futaba will grow stronger soon. What's the plan? Are you going to hang out with Futaba? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, all right, time to formulate our plan of attack. Get in there. Go, go! Hmm. So the next promise is... Learn about my generation. Wait, I think I can do the next one too. Have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm, where can I find lots of young people? All right, let's By go. Jove, I think I've got it. Let us be off, Weibo. <laughs> You're so dorky. Wow, you guys have actually started getting pretty close. Not like that's a bad thing though. Anyways, be careful out there. I hope Sojourer doesn't get mad at me if I uh, waifu up Futaba. He might be happy since, you know, she's getting into a relationship mm. and all. What normal high school girls do and all that. Right, Sojuro? Die in a fire. <laughs> Thanks, not dad. So we've arrived at the diner. I've heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at these places. Well, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Hi. Ah, oh, Mishima. News. Oh crap, and you're with a girl. Is this a friend of yours? Is she single? Please, please tell me she's single. He's in my class. Friend might be a bit much. <laughs> no, that's so mean. I can't be mean to Mishima. He's too oh, cute. Right. Um, how about I ask him to help with my promise? Hmm? What promise? Don't worry, Mishima's a total weirdo. He'll be the perfect stranger to have a conversation with. Well... You just want to have a regular old conversation. So wait, you're saying that you, a girl, wants to talk to me? <laughs> see, what did I say, Futaba? Total weirdo. Yeah. I see, in that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I'll just have to help you out. Want to have the conversation back in my place? Going too far. Really? Whoa, you're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura, and don't you forget it. Uh, okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishima. Um, it seems like help always comes my way when I need it most. <laughs> Maybe my luck stat's really high. I think you're right. <laughs> no, I you're one now? I think you're totally right. Heck yeah, I could probably roll a natural 20 right now if you ask me to. I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> Mishima. So, you want to learn more about our generation? I doubt it'll be easy to explain. Youth, the unknown frontier. Uh, maybe I should try talking about my hobbies. Trying to get laid, stalking the maid cafe, you know, the huge. Do you like computers? Yes. Um, I'm always online. Me too. What sites do you use? I usually keep to forums myself. Or are you more into streaming? I'd gladly subscribe to your channel. <laughs> Smash that like button. Wait, wait, oh wait. Do you by chance run one of those racy channels? <laughs> oh God, Mishima, you're ruining this. You need to be super courageous to do that. Though it certainly wouldn't be unwelcome, Keck. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're such a nerd. I can't judge. I say kick out loud all the time. <laughs> Whoa, that's the first time I've heard anyone actually say that out loud. Kek. <laughs> Michima really is the best person for Futaba to talk to for the first time outside of our group. A total dork. Huh? That's all you took from that conversation? <laughs> That's so true. You didn't even care about all the pervy shit I said? I've got it! This overwhelmingly forgettable appearance, generic speech style, and total lack of sex appeal! <laughs> oh, you're so truthful. Nishima, are you a NPC? What's an NPC? Savage. He's the protagonist. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking savage, Futaba. But it'd be even more savage to lie about what he is. And besides, NPCs are an important piece in the jigsaw puzzle of gaming. <sighs> God, we're breaking the fourth wall, aren't we? We're not making this any better. And more importantly, my name isn't Nishima. I'm not an AI, damn it. Anyways, I'm glad you're spawn I'm glad you've spawned here. I killed two promises with one Nishima today. Learn about our generation and have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Aw oh, yeah! I think I gained a ton of experience on this adventure. And it's all because you brought me here, Weibo. Thanks. I can sense Futaba's innocent joy. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> Two of the funniest characters together. All right. Can't complain. So, um, Futaba-chan, it's okay if I call you that, right? I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> she just called you a non-player character, dude, and you're still hitting on her? And she called your appearance generic and said you had no sex appeal? But you're still, still going strong. I can respect that, I think. Anyways, uh, what are you doing after this? Going home. <laughs> oh, right. right. I called dibs, Mishima. Come on, Weibo, we're off! <laughs> that was great. I loved that. Ah, you're back. Okay. Let's uh, look at the TV. The information age is not without its pitfalls. You may have done an information crime without knowing. Consider the following. Divulging someone's crimes, insults, and an internet post. Which of these counts as slander? You be the judge. I feel like it's this one. I'll go with it. The correct answer is A. Spreading around someone's criminal history is a crime. Okay, cool. If you publicly say something that hurts someone's reputation, even if it's true, it's slander. Insults are usually not considered def defamation, and even if it was, it'd be libel on the internet. Oh, you got it right. Everyone who spreads rumors about you is guilty of slander, huh? Yes, I can get rid of all those internet trolls that bother me every day. It feels like I've improved my knowledge. Yay, I'm so smart. Kind of. Point up. Cool. Right. Almost forgot. I gotta put up Big Bang Burger Coon. It's very important to me. Oh, he's already up there. Aw, oh, look at you, you little cutie. That almost killed me. Well, that did kill me. That one time. Okay, who can I hang out with? Sojuro. Jahaya, oh yeah. Oh, I can rank up with Jahaya. <laughs> yes, very much yes. I will do that. Let me see, what's her uh, next ability? Affinity reading. Deepens your bond with a confidant of your choice. Oh. Oh, oh that's so good. I shouldn't have put you off so long. No, your abilities are so good. Oh, I regret it now. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely need to hang out with you more. I've been waiting for you. You won't believe what happened. I can. F I feel I can't become closer with Chahaya thanks to the fortune persona Atropis. I feel like my bond with Chahaya will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Hell yes, her ability <laughs> is so good. Now please take a seat. Oh, that's so nice. I don't have to worry about answering yes. perfectly for on anymore. I can fuck up as much as I want to now. Oh boy. Recently, my reputation has really started shooting up. A lot of my clients leave happy now, too. I've managed to use my own powers to alter some fates that had once seemed inevitable. I suppose all you need to change fate is a strong will, like what you have. Oh no, is there going to be like an angry customer coming up right after this conversation? I feel it. Like some lady just comes up from behind. Like what the fuck, you just read from some stupid self-improvement book, and that was all you did. Uh, no refunds. I wish I could do more though. A pompous middle-aged man. Are you on break right now, Mifumi-kun? Here it is. What? Fukurai-san? So are you the apprentice I've heard so much about? 
I've been wondering, why are you so interested in Mifume-kun? It's cause she's pretty. I like fortune telling. She's really cool. I'm doing research for school. Um, she's super cool, bro. Swag. Why did you have to say swag at the end? I don't know, it just seemed right. Cool, you're a strong- you're a strange one. That aside, I have to commend your judgment in choosing Mifume-kun. Her fortunes are like a light guiding lost lambs through the unending darkness ahead. Oh, um. By the way, new son, this man here is Pukurai-san. He's, um, the chairman of the AP ADP. Seems kind of jealous of me. Oh, right, you don't know about the ADP yet. It stands for... Uh, assholes! Assembly of Divine Power. Our goal is to relieve the hearts and minds of today's weary souls via healing events and seminars. We also sell holy stones, the well from which our divine power springs. They are a large part of our business. Oh, so she got the stones from these guys. They probably just told her that they were real then. So did she not know that they were a piece of shit? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember if she really acknowledged that it was or wasn't beforehand. I don't really think she did. She seemed like she was, uh, I don't know, sipping the holy stone Kool-Aid from what I remember. Um... Uh, Fukurai-san, um... Oh, they're gonna be pissed she's not selling those anymore. That reminds me, Yokota-kun was telling me you've been acting a little strange recently. More importantly, it seems you've started falling behind on your Holy Stone sales quotas. Is everything okay? Yes, I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune-telling fees. Uh... Um, Fukurai-san? I wonder how she got involved with these guys. I, um, I'm not sure how effective these holy stones really are. Okay, yeah, so she didn't know they were bullshit. Excuse me. Well... Do you remember who showed you the way when you arrived here from the countryside? Lost and confused. Do you remember who saved you when you were stuck working in a seedy club with no place to turn? Ah, uh, so that's it. That's how they met. It was me. Are you saying you no longer have trust in someone who's done so much for you? That's not it. Then enough of this skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the futures of those unfortunate souls who come to us and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stones. Maiden of Relief? This has got to be a joke. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't think I'll get points either way, so this has got to be a joke, dude. What the fuck are you on about? Hump, there is no salvation for those who joke. Ah, oh, you're mm. full of it. Hi. You don't want things to go back to how they were, do you, Mifune-kun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me, telling me how everyone called you a monster? If you don't carry your weight as the Maiden of Relief, you'll be exactly that, a monster. I mean, I do feel like she could detach from them pretty easily, unless they, like, own the land that she's, uh, you know, doing her business on, but I severely doubt that. I guess it's just kind of like the emotional connection that's gonna be a struggle for her to let go of. I'm assuming, at least. This guy's sketchy. Leave her alone. Speaking the truth, Weibo. Leave her alone, dude. New son. Fine, if you want to spend your time fooling around with this child, go right ahead. But don't forget, Mifume-kun. The APD is the only place you'll ever belong. Yeah, I guess it's just the manipulation that's going to be oh. kind of hard for her to get through. <laughs> I do see you in a new light now, knowing that uh, they were the ones that were supplying the bullshit stones. Uh, I've never actually worked in a nightclub. I did get tricked into walking into one, though. You're a bad liar. Anyways, the chairman is known for exaggerating details. Uh, you must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a monster. What's a maiden of relief? Who thinks you're a monster? You're just Jahaya to me. What? Huh? Nobody's ever treated me so nicely before. But... By the way, it was pretty amazing how they stood up to the chairman back there. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stones had I been alone. But your strength helped me speak up. I needed to be strong like you more often. Yeah, poor Jahaya. I can sense a strong resolve from Jahaya. Seems like she's had a pretty pretty rough life too. Fortune, rank 6. Yeah, give me the good stuff, right. Jahaya. Um... Even so, the chairman seems serious about the Holy Stone issue. He'll make me pay a fine if I don't meet my quotas, and there is a huge penalty for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Um, anyways, I should close up for today. Ah, oh, poor next thing. Time. Good night. Morning. Morning. Hey, are you keeping up with the comments online? 
There's a lot of hate for Okamura and a lot of expectations for us. I hope Haru's dad has a change of heart soon. They have high hopes for us. All we can do is wait. Oh god, I'm so scared. He's gonna fucking die and the internet's gonna go crazy. All I can do is wait. No way, <laughs> yeah, you get a point, but I'm positive this will make a bigger impact than before. <laughs> Me too. As usual, it'll be a while before we see some results, but man, I am so looking forward to this. Yep, I am too, nervously. Hi, everyone. Let's get started with the class. How far did we go last time? Whoa. Oh, yes, Kawakami. Is this Sun? Miss Juno, please come to the faculty office at once. What could this be? I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Yeah. Free time. Kawakami has graciously given us this free time, so we'd better put it to good use. What do you do? What's the plan? Okay, let's read. Yeah, this is so nice. Happy it's happening a bit more often now, too. Maybe because I uh, completed her confidant. Her sublime soul gave strength to the people. Mm -hmm. A legendary female pope, huh? Do you think she really existed? That's what I've been told. By history books and persona. Whoa. So you finished reading the illusory popes. Maybe the people of that era made up this mysterious female pope, but she's an inspirational figure. Pope Joanna, Pope Johanna, loved by so many. Reading about her must have taught you the value of forgiveness. Is she really like a uh, potentially made up though? I didn't realize that. I thought that was just a, uh, I don't know, a thing. Right. Kindness has improved. <sighs> ah, the teacher's back. I'm back, class. Kawakami was waiting there in a maid outfit for me. Hey. It was pretty weird. What could that have been about? Well, let's resume class. Yep. Phew, that was close. Kawakami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. I am. What are we doing today with the form request? Guys, you guys are so, so into that. Yusuke, on. Ah, oh, can't rank up with Yusuke automatically either. Damn you all. I hate you all so much. Oh yeah, you know what? I haven't looked at the movie theater yet. Uh, let me look at that too. I don't know if I'll leave in me going to Big Bang Burger or not, but I went there because I thought I'd get all the points and then they didn't give me anything besides guts. Lame, rip off. I just kind of safe scummed out of it though since uh, I don't know, it wasn't as good as I was hoping for. So I'd uh, rather try this out if it's only gonna give me guts. Okay, movie theater. Oh, it's finally open again. I wonder what kind of movies they're showing here. Right now, we're just in time to see The Good Father. The tragic story about a mafia boss who just wants to do it on his children. It looks like watching this movie might give me some kindness. You'll need to buy a ticket if you want to see a movie. Yeah, let's do it. I love these movies. They're always so fun. Well, then. The movie's about to start. Come on, let's get to our seats. You can now quick travel to the Young and Jaya movie theater. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, it looks different. Keep your friends close, and your enemies, keep them far away. <laughs> that should be obvious. A father who doesn't teach his family the lessons of life isn't a real father. Dad, listen. There's a difference between being nice and being a coward. Someday, your kindness is going to get someone killed. <laughs> wow, so deep. That is so deep. It really makes me think. He got the saying wrong, though. I feel like I was able to learn how to be more compassionate to others. Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, looks like uh, three points. That'd just give me two. All right. Weebo's kindness has improved. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. We always do that. All right, let's go home. That was an interesting one. A bit more serious than some of the other ones, though. Not as funny as The Cake Night Rises. That one's the best one so far, I think. Ah, you're back. In case you would like to stay apprised of the situation, little has changed with my father so far. I appreciate the consideration. I've yet to truly speak with him, though. As I've said before, this is just what happened to Madarami. There's no need to worry. Still, I'm sorry. I know you're all waiting to hear about the middle shutdown culprit. Father is physically weak, so it may take some time. Let's be patient. No need to get hasty. Yeah, no need to get hasty. He's he's right. We'll definitely have a change of heart. Eh. In that case, ain't it time to be talking about our next celebration party? 
Too soon. Too stupid. <laughs> what was that? We can talk about that some other time. For now, let's wait patiently. <laughs> Futaba is so unapologetically honest. Yes, I'll contact everyone if anything comes up. Sounds good. I don't know if we're gonna have a celebration party this time. Not since it's gonna inevitably fuck up. Wakamura Foods has been rocked by allegations of unethical work conditions. Our, rep our reporter succeeded in getting an interview with a man who used to work for the company. What he described was a harsh work environment where employees are not allowed any freedom. Whoa, having a job sounds like a lot of hard work. What are you gonna do when you're an adult? Slack off, Morgana. That's what I'm gonna do. Kawakami, cool. I'll have her wash more stuff, I think. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll probably hang out with her then. Uh, man, I wish I had a charm boost on me though. Should probably check the stuff I already uh, got from Kawakami before, right? Any, any improvements? Nah, not really. Uh, nope. Okay, that one's really, really good evasion. Um, that might actually be kind of useful. Even though it doesn't hit as hard. Hmm, I don't know, that might, that might be good. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay, yeah, these are both better, so I'll put the Rosetta Corset on you. She had a really low defense <laughs> when I was fighting in the palace. Futaba! Okay, you don't need anything either. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Thanks, Kawakami. You're the best. Haven't checked out the stores in Shibuya in a while, actually. I might go uh, shop a bit. Welcome, the popular books are over Please here. Need more charm stuff. Photo guidebook of the shrines hidden in the big city. Uh, has a special in planetariums. A guide that lets you feel the atmosphere of the antique book town. Oh, that might, I guess, unlock more books? I don't know. I'll buy it. Rossinante. Cra what a crazy maze. It's almost like, like a palace. Almost. Phantom Wafers. Yeah, didn't they have this at uh, the other place, too? Yeah, yeah. These are so cheap. They're so nice. Thief Mask. A mask adorned with the Phantom Thieves logo. Calling postcard. Postcard that looks like a calling card. Mail it to someone close to you. A box of assorted flavors of a popular snack. May make a nice gift. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect for On, right? Yeah, I don't know. I might just wait to hang out with On after I get Chahaya's ability. I guess it depends on how long it takes. Probably good to have it on me, though. Regardless. Okay, oh yeah. I'll hang out with you. I do wish I could change my stab boost to charm, though, but I'll let this one go, I guess. Oh, can I change it? Eh, nope. Okay, nope, still can't change it. It was worth a shot, I guess. Hey, you know if Haru hates us after her dad has a mental shutdown? Then that means Lala-chan must be the Empress persona. I knew it all along. You should come here a lot. I don't really mind, but keep yourself in check, okay? Hey! So you came, Phantom Thieves Believer. I wonder what's next, not that the Medjet case is over. But how the heck would you know, right? Right? Take a seat, any new info? I feel like my bond with Oya will grow stronger soon. Okay, I don't have a, a persona for her right now, do I? Better oh, get yeah? that. Devil persona. Anybody? Anybody? Oh wait, I should do the random one first, right? It might give me a devil one, for some reason. Oh, here we go. Here's some devil ones. Oh, whoa. A lot of different fusions for this one. Oh, this okay one might be good. This? I think this one's perfect, honestly. Because, yeah, I already have another hermit. Don't need chariots, so... Yeah, let's do this one. Select the skills you Choose the like skills you wish to inherit. Okay. Increase accuracy for all three turns. Then automatically increases effect of healing magic. What are these? Barrier that flex magic damage once for one ally. Um, I'll put this on me, it actually. That seems really, really beneficial. Power. Your respective confident relationship is a ring, too. You should see some benefit. Are you certain this persona is acceptable? Go ahead. Then let us begin. Then let us begin. This one's gonna be weak as hell. Here we go, lion guy. I am Pazuzu. I shall become your mask. Now let us walk together and take the reins of this desert world. Yeah, cool. Like your underwear. All wingy. Behold, the double confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. Level up! I'll be an aid. Nope. <laughs> I guess I am a low level with Oya. That makes sense. Um, to should I do this one again? This yeah, I'll get rid of Stone of Scone. Because, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could buy him back if I really need one of these abilities that bad. Even though we don't have any idea what this persona is going to turn into, you're sure of this, right? Hell yes. Now, how will this turn? Oh, whoa! I'm Horus! I'll be your mask from now on. Let's fly together into the light. Into me. <laughs> Literally just a light with wings. 
Sun Persona. Okay, I think I remember seeing you actually in uh, the fusion area. Oh my god, you're so bright. I can kind of make your outline now. Chuckle all the results to your satisfaction. Oh my god, it's so bright. I gotta leave the screen. <laughs> that that was good though, I guess. I guess I can uh, look at his abilities later. Nope. Gonna have to put a piece of paper on the screen to cover it up when I look at him. So bright. So bright. I feel I can become closer with Oya thanks to the devil persona, Pazuza. I feel like my bond with Oya will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with Oya? Uh, oh yeah! Oh? Stop saying that joke, it's not funny. Seriously, where do you get this stuff from? True believers are scary. Hey, do you want a drink? <laughs> We're all in a Phantom Thieves cult together. Don't worry about it. It's totally hmm. normal. Besides the blood sacrifices, but it's no big deal. A fan site? Oh, you mean the Phantom Aficionado website. I didn't know it was so popular with high school kids. I haven't been paying much attention to it. But if it's newsworthy, I guess I should keep tabs on it. The Phantom Thieves must be really bored if they're going after small-time criminals now. I have a theory that they're all minors and their leader is some simpleton dying of boredom. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Minors couldn't do that stuff. You might be right. You shouldn't make assumptions. God, you're on point. You're right, though of course I don't have any real proof. Ah, oh, you didn't like that answer? I thought kissing your ass would work. Well, I'm not really interested in writing entertainment articles about whatever fads caught on. But they really do well, right? Some journalists who were in here seemed frustrated about that. Journalists? Oh, you mean Nak Nakao and the others? Shit. You'd really lump me in with those hy hyenas? Ha, don't insult me. People at work call them paparazzi behind their backs. But me, I'm a real journalist. What's the difference? I'm sure you are. Uh, I don't know what you would like. I feel like that sounds sarcastic. I'm sure you are, oh yeah, totally. Uh, what's the difference? Hey, I wasn't looking for some kid to butt in. Entertainment articles are all about selling copies. The truth doesn't even matter. Nobody wants to read real news. <sighs> Sigh. Why not change careers? Maybe you should quit. Change careers. I think. Never. But at this rate, you... If I quit now, it'd be the same as declaring my partner guilty. Damn it. Jointly responsible. What a joke. She didn't do anything. That's why I can't quit and why I'll never give up. Oh, I'm not really sure what she's uh, talking about. I guess the scandal they kind of mentioned before. What was she accused of? What happened? Was she falsely accused? Of course she was. I mean, never mind. Ha 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 ha. So sketchy. Yeah, I wonder what uh, happened with all that. But thanks to you, I've had more time to focus on my own investigation. I'm going to write an article that you'll really enjoy. Think of it as a sign of my appreciation. <laughs> I can see it now. Exclusive. Behind the incredible Phantom Thieves. Dial 911 for justice. How's that sound? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'll take it seriously. After all, that's what I promised you. A deal? My deal with Oya seems to be progressing smoothly. Cool, rank up. Devil rank up. Rank three. All right. Confidence increased to rank three. More experience for Mercana Burst. Yeah, seems like the the kind of average dilemma with being a news reporter. People don't really want the real news half the time. Just like a uh, drama and sensationalized stuff. Makes sense. But yeah, it definitely sucks for journalists who want to really spread the truth, you know? You sure are weird, though, coming all this way to Shinjuku at night. Are you in love with me? Hello? Uh-huh. Wait, what? I can talk with him, really? Okay, I'll be right there. Work. Now nah, I'm already off the clock. Huh. Sorry, I have some urgent business I need to attend to. Just put this on my tab, Lala-chan. Well then. See ya. Huh, interesting. Probably Lala-chan can route her out for me. Tell me where she's going. And gee, she's such a child. She gets so excited the moment something comes up about her favorite assignment. Anyway, shouldn't you be getting home too? Probably. I was able to pique Oya's interest with stories of the Phantom Thieves. I feel like my charm has increased. Nice. Oh, cool, three points. Kinda of surprising. Oh, yes! Max charm! Hell yeah, Makoto! Right. Just you wait. About to impress the socks off of you. I can finally go on that date. I was really excited about that one too. It seemed like it'd be funny. Thank you for waiting. 
Rosetta, Vest of the Dead, Royal, Kaori, Sand Gown. Okay, Sand Gown was pretty good. That's what I got on Weibo, I'm pretty sure. Put that on someone else too. Let's see, 89%, almost, 88.9. So we're getting there, but, but not quite there. What do you think will happen to Okamura Foods? Shucks. Well, even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stock's plummeted. Do you think Okamura really exploited its employees? Every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. Nah, the rumors about Okamura Foods were all well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. After school. I'm so happy I can finally ring up with Makoto. Yes, let's do that. She's probably outside, right? Ah, uh, she's not out here? Ah, uh, dang it. Dang you, Makoto. I'll just reply to her text. I'm hot now, Makoto. Please hang out with me. Hey, I'd like to speak with you about Aiko again. Please come to the student council room where you ha when you have the opportunity. <laughs> I noticed you got sexy all of a sudden. What's up with that? I feel like my bond with Makoto will grow stronger soon, but... Okay, maybe that just pops up. Uh, whenever there's a barrier, even if you can't overcome it. Well, but looks like Makoto wants to talk to you. You think you should go to her for a bit? Yes, immediately. Thank you, I'll be waiting. Yes, oh, I'm so excited. Finally got it up. I think Aiko will approve of me with my current charm. I should act as Makoto's, should I act as Makoto's boyfriend and go meet with Aiko? I feel I can become closer with Makoto thanks to the high priestess persona, Koi Nuer. I totally butchered that name, didn't I? Oh uh, yeah, you pretty much did. I feel like my bond with Makoto will grow stronger soon. Wow, so much thinking. So what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Makoto? Yes, finally. Thank goodness, I'll contact Aiko. Let's meet at the diner, as I mentioned before. Yeah, this one seems like it might be kind of funny. Oh god. <laughs> he seems like such a... Such a loser. Or just like a, a sleazeball, really. Yo, my name is Sukasa. I heard all about you two from Aiko. So I heard you're the student council pres, Makoto-chan. I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, um... Hey, yes, I am. Totally. And Glasses Coon over here is your boyfriend, yeah? He looks like anime Harry Potter. Yeah. Huh, looks like you guys don't get along too good, though. It's like your love level's rock bottom. Make out for me. Prove it. Are you seriously dating? We just started. We're fighting right now. Love comes in many forms. <laughs> um, love comes in many forms. Well, right, he doesn't really like it when I get all clingy with him. Okay, cool. That worked. Oh, I get it. You just don't got any affection compared to us. Uh -huh. Hey, babe, did you do something special today? I don't remember you looking this sexy. Oh, God. Oh, Sukasa. <sighs> um, sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Oh god, he's gonna show show his real side now. Later, lovebird. Excuse um, me. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Aiko? Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering when our honor student was gonna show her true colors. That reminds me, Aiko said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Oh, why is that, huh? You seem like a total sleazeball. Aren't you like 30, by the way? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl, you really care about your friends. Good stuff. I always say friends are like super important and shit. <laughs> God, that's deep. Speaking of which, a friend of mine, GF, is totally a friend of mine. How about you tell me your digits? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I, um... Don't be so pushy. Back off. Here, have my number instead. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I kind of want to do it just because I think it's funny. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Glasses Coon. Uh, I was still defending her, so I thought she might still like it. I don't know. That one just seemed the funniest. What's up? You don't want to date me? Anyways, Aiko already gave me yours, Mako-chan. We good. Oh god. <sighs> I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Aiko to your club, are you? What, you suspecting me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts are just flirts. But my love with Aiko is as pure as snow. Don't twist the story. Yeah, that's a load of crap, isn't it? Huh, is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. 
Well, if I should get going. I gotta be at work soon. Ah, uh, me too. Uh, bye. Yeah, he's a total sleaze, isn't he? I hope he's not tricking her. But no matter what I might think, I still don't have any proof. And above all, Aiko seems really happy. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? No, you're being considerate. You worry too much. Probably a little. No, he's a total weirdo. I suppose so, I mean, I really am worried about Aiko here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Text from him? It seems that host has sent me something already. <laughs> Boo pick, please. Probably. What is this supposed to be saying? It's full of emojis. It's me, Tsukasa. Heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. <laughs> I'm so happy to be friends with you. Mako C. Clapping emoji, clapping emoji, hot springs emoji. <laughs> As long as he's not sending you the plum and peach emoji, I guess we're good. That was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Aiko. By the way, I'm glad you were really- I'm glad you were here with me. I would have really panicked had I been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes. Thank you very much. And I'm working through that with your help, so thank you. I can sense Makoto's trust in me. Yeah, cool. Drink up! Drink six! Harrison recovery! Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. Right. Drink six! Six more experience! Harrison recovery! All the good stuff. Shall we we go? should get going too. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't trust that guy at all. Even though he does seem kind of dumb based off of the text he sent Makoto. So maybe he does have good intentions, but uh, kind of doubt back. it. Needs to have some kind of a villain in in the plot, right? What are you doing here? Good evening. And good evening. I'm intruding in your home once again. My apologies for spending so much time here. It's just such a calming place for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it this time since it's the same. Same exact thing he did before. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'll be on my way. Mm. <laughs> Asshole. One more thing, though. I heard a calling card has finally been sent. If the rumors of internet affairs at Okamura Foods are true, the president should surely be judged. However, it should be up to the government or police to do so. This is an unfortunate situation. Oh, you're gonna flip the fuck out. <laughs> Wait, you're not leaving! You dick, I told you to leave! But yeah, he's gonna flip out once he uh, sees Okamura have a middle shutdown, isn't he? The Phantom Thieves, I fucking knew it the whole time! They're pure evil! God, I hate them so much! I can just hear it already. Time for a special edition of Discovery Town Detectives. On these irregularly broadcast specials, we share limited edition items that are all the rage. Today we're going to be talking about the relaxing and therapeutic scent of Refresh Aroma. Oh yeah, I think those girls were talking about that too. With its special mix of autumn ingredients, this item has been flying off the shelves. This is from Body Chop, right? I hope the one in the underground mall in Shibuya still has some. Yeah, I need to buy one of those. I'll go ahead and do that actually. Can't hurt. If they're advertising it, it must be good. That's what I always think. Cosmetic shop. Welcome, are you here to buy a gift? Or maybe something for yourself? Welcome. Refresh aroma, autumn only. Cures all non-special ailments for one ally. That's pretty good. God, that's hella expensive though. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. Eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, I'll come back to you later. Oh, Hifumi, I can rank up with you. I guess I'll do that then. Um, I guess I'll raise up my knowledge though beforehand. I wish Jahaya was open more often. I want that ability! The High Priestess card! It seems you'll greatly benefit from taking actions that will increase your knowledge. Your knowledge is more likely to increase today. Oh, got somebody talking to you, it looks like. Your mom, maybe? Seems kinda older. Oh? If Umi's talking to a woman, she seems troubled again. Yeah, probably her mom. I feel I can become closer with Ifumi thanks to the Star Persona and Echo Shogun. I feel like my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to Hifumi? Yeah, let's do it. That's right, your next opponent will finally be a professional. My client's a big shot in the Pro Shogi Players Association, so I worked really hard to set it up. You better not fuck this up, Miss Sweetie. But... Hum, is this young man a fan of yours, Hifumi? No, mother. Yeah, yeah, I kinda figured. He's my shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your shogi friend, hum? 
Let me just say this. I hope you're not harboring any weird feelings for Hifumi. <laughs> Damn, that was straight up. Mother. As I'm sure you're already aware, you're not allowed to date, young lady. You've started to attract a number of new male fans with all your photo spreads. Uh, yes. I guess if they found out she had a boyfriend, they might not be as interested. Dang, that's intense, though. Yes, mother. Can't just hide her boyfriend in secret? Come on now. You can get 50 guys like him once you're famous. <laughs> Jeez. I need you to accomplish the things I was never able to do. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Living through your daughter. Now I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. Probably wanted to be like a model or something. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. You're not allowed to date? She's scary. Accomplish things. <laughs> she is kind of scary though. Um, I don't really know if she would like any of these. Maybe this one? Although I'm not really sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, you did like it. Cute. Giggle. Now why'd you say that out loud? People always do that in this universe, don't you know? That was quite honest of you. Not altogether inaccurate, though. My father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. Ah, uh, okay. My father was a pro shogi player. He's usually calm, but when he played, you could really feel his spirit. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing shogi too. Oh, that's sweet. But after pouring everything he had into shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, shogi stole both her dream and her husband. And yet she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should, keep, I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional so that I can make enough money to ease my parents' burden. Aw, that's sweet. Um... I do photo shoots and interviews, hoping they'll add some money to our household income. But it's honestly quite difficult for me. You don't like the attention? You should stop then. Have you told your mother? You don't like the attention? Well, being in the public eye isn't bad in itself. It's just... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in the hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family and I want to support them through our troubles. Tisk, this isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on such negative topics before a match. Well then, let's play. Today I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. This will teach you how to escape from disadvantageous situations. Yeah, I feel Ifumi's trust in me growing. She gives me really good abilities too. I like Ifumi a lot as well. She's pretty cute. Kakoi Kuzu Kuzushi. Allows you to attempt to escape even when surrounded by the enemy. Yes. All right. I hate getting surrounded. <laughs> It sucks. Are you ready? Tadara, my right eye is twitching. Now, it's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. <laughs> oh man, what's that uh, thing? Seventh grade syndrome? You got that so bad. Now, to a fair match. Always forget the Japanese name for that, like Chubaneo? I think it's something like that. I feel like playing Shogi with Afumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. Yay, two points. Cool, cool. Weibo's right. knowledge has improved. Until next time. Phew, that wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lessons next time. Yeah. Sounds good, Ifumi. Sounds good. Oh, text message. Huh, who could that be at this hour? The movie theater nearby is showing a great sci-fi movie. You have tomorrow off, right? Have any plans? Let's go see Back to the Ninja. So, do you want to make plans for tomorrow? Commit. Yeah, let's commit. Ah, yes. <laughs> You're such a dork. You see all the dorky stuff I used to say in middle school and high school. Let's keep up at the movie theater in Yangin then. Sci-fi is always exciting. Yan, we should go to bed. Oh, Futaba. My true, true waifu. I've been waiting for this. No apology yet, sad face. Pretty much all the same stuff. Think I've read everything. Oh, 89%. For a second or two. I can't wait for his apology. They should just execute everyone who causes trouble for society. <laughs> Dear God, you guys are psychos. Oh, maybe they could take down my boss. Politicians who knock the Phantom Thieves are just sore losers. They should kill Akechi. <laughs> there he is. What about Akechi-kun? Is he too afraid of backlash to comment? To comment? Probably. You guys are a little crazy.
Yay. Yeah. Oh, you actually show. Not bad. Well, let's get in there. <laughs> Do you expect me to stand you up, Futaba? Thought I'd chicken out of this movie. Okay. Uh, my sandal has come undone. <laughs> yeah! You're too slow. Unless you can move at the speed of light, you'll never be able to go back to the future. Oh, of course. They're going back all alone? This is just a terrible cult movie. <laughs> but I guess it's somewhat educational with all the science incorporated in there. I feel like I was able to learn about the fun side of science. Yeah, three points. What did I get in? Encyclopedic knowledge. Right. Weibo's knowledge has improved. She like it? Man, I've already seen that one like 50 times, but the audio in the theater still impresses me. <laughs> 50 times, dear lord. Oh, you can see posters. Forest hunt. Gotta see that one next, babe. You know, sci-fi is more than just some crazy made-up baloney. It's like a dream that might end up coming true one day. I guess it's almost like hope. You get me? Hey, you get me, Nike Coon? Totally. I think so. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, totally. Yeah, nice, uh. you've got potential. Thanks. In any case, thanks for chilling. Um, this was way more fun than all those times I've seen it alone. Aw. Um, maybe we can have a foreign sci-fi marathon in your room someday. You better be looking forward to it. Ah, geared. Ah, you're back. Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. This is utter chaos. The public's dislike of Okamura has grown exponentially as well. How are you holding up, are you? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. Oh yeah, there was like one person in the last video, they were like, kill his family too. It's like, holy shit, <laughs> it's getting so bad. Poor Haru, I bet it's scary for her too. It's kind of crazy too that they don't even realize that she's a phantom thief herself. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. And what about us? Are we gonna get all popular and shit again? Uh, probably. Let us not concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the public might like it better that he has a mental shutdown at this rate. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check it out? Oh yeah, I gotta get my juice too. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we've got for you today. Don't not worry. Eating these mysterious doughy rings soothes the heart. Order now and get 20. Wow. It's true. The sweets are like a mental tranquilizer. This is a limited item. Today is the one and only day it'll be available. For 1,980 yen. Wow, it's so cheap. Wow. Phones are off the hook. Yeah, let's do it. Always do it. Probably we'll use all the scrap eventually. Maybe. Oh, another buyer just called. Thanks for your money. We'll try to get your order to you tomorrow. Because it always shows up tomorrow for some reason. Wow, they're fast. They're like Amazon Prime. Oh, Chihaya. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, I do gotta hang out with you before I can rank up. Balls. Vitality Azuri. Makes you proficient. Cool. Wow, you're not too scared? I ain't no bitch, Morgana. Your proficiency is more likely to increase today. Neato. Okay, let's do it. Drink this cockroach-infested drink. All right, chug it down. Don't die. Nice chugging. That's how you do it. Great job, I was watching you try so hard. Neato, cool. Oh, nice! <laughs> Proficiency max, cool. Right. Getting there, proficiency has increased to transcendent. Yeah, I've been working on charm and proficiency a lot, so I am not too surprised. Oh, I'm so excited though, yes. Maxing out, feels good, feels good. Okay, I'll hang out with Shahaya. Verification test. Your fate is very interesting, so I'd like to try a different fortune-telling technique. I've gone through all my books. Maybe I need some that are out of print. Where can I find some? Oh, never mind. Let's begin Let's begin the verification test. I feel like I can't become closer with Jahaya thanks to the fortune persona, Tropis. I don't think my bond with Jahaya will deepen just yet. Sadly enough. What are you going to do? Are you going to hang out with her? Yeah, let's do it. Maybe I should invite her to Booktown. Yeah, let's do it. Jin... Jinbocho, there's a lot of used bookstores there. Let's go. It's a bit far, but let's go. I wonder if the stores are still open. Yeah, I have that book cover too, so she would probably like that. Wow. I see the prices at a used bookstore are also low. Um, there's a lot here. Which ones would be good as a reference? 
Autobiographies of great people, books on business, whatever's popular. Um, maybe autobiographies? See what they're doing, right? Mm -hmm. The lives of people who have left their names in history. It's true, those will be worth reading once. There is a lot to learn from their stormy lives. So true. Also, you know those self-help books? With those, you feel like just reading them is enough. You end up not actually helping yourself. <laughs> I do feel that sometimes. So I want to learn the ideas in these and be able to express them to help my customers. Huh? That use bookstore science as study of destiny. Uh, a fortune telling specific shop? New Sam, let's go check it out! Oh, that's right. I might have something Chihaya might like. I should give it to her as a gift. Yeah, I think she would like the book cover, right? Probably. Silk crap book cover with a Japanese style print on it. She likes books or she's really into it now. Oh wow, well, I never expected to get a present like this. What a nice surprise. Thank you, Thank you very much, new son. Yay. Coolness. It feels like I've touched Jahaya's heart a little. Ah, oh, just a little bit? Balls. I feel like my bond with Jahaya will grow stronger soon. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> I feel like this place could feel like a second home. Thank you so much for today. Nito. Evil needs to die. Exterminate his family too. Yeah, that comment. It was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's going a little too far. Haru's precious. Can't exterminate her. Just to be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts? Social reform? Don't give me this fan of thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okamura Foods? They're criminals. That artificially consummate flavor, enough volume to fill a small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy called junk food from me? <laughs> Don't be bitter cause you like the burgers. That said, new sun, new scoon. The night sky may be filled with countless galaxies, but in the entire universe, which of these is closest to the density of stars? Three eggs in a pot, three balls in a tennis court, three watermelons in the sun, three watermelons in the sun. Coolness. Wow, a lot of people got that one wrong. Huh, interesting. More than usual, at least. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I expected as much out of you. Yes, the correct answer is three watermelons in the sun. Three bees in the whole of Europe works too. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even with our galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, even though you can see so many. Oh my god, he's so smart. Wow, that's crazy. God, you're nice smart. Going. Max knowledge? You ready for it? Nope, <laughs> you're not ready for it, I guess. Close, but yet far. Haha, <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. Ugh, if you only knew the places we've been. I wanna tell him. I wanna pull a Ryuji. Cool, who can I hang out with? Oh, lots of messages. Wanna go reform society? What are your plans? You free? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video for here. Definitely looking forward to the uh, change of heart or the uh, mental shutdown as it's uh, probably gonna be. It's so, uh, so ominous waiting for it. It's like, oh God, I know this is gonna be bad. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Please leave a like or comment if you are, and I will see you real soon.